We are following breaking news. Philadelphia's health commissioner unexpectedly resigns for a mistake he admits he made years ago. This is Eyewitness News at 6, and we are streaming live on CBSN Philly. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Jessica Cartalia. The resignation comes after Dr. Thomas Farley admitted that he mishandled some of the remains from the 1985 move bombing. This comes as we mark the 36th anniversary today of that dark day for the city. And we have team coverage right now with reaction from city leaders and the community where the bombing happened. We start with Alexandria Hoff in Spring Garden. Alex? Yuki, at this 5 o'clock press conference, we learned that it was Dr. Farley himself who came forward with this information. The mayor says he just learned 48 hours ago that remains belonging to MOVE members had been cremated and disposed of. At that point, Dr. Farley was asked to resign, and he did indeed accept that. According to the mayor's office, it was in 2017 that Dr. Farley made the decision to dispose of remains that were found by the medical examiner's office that had belonged to victims of the 1985 MOVE bombing. Initially, the administration did not intend to make this announcement on the 36th anniversary of the bombing, but it simply timed out that way. Mayor Kenny met with members of the Africa family today to offer an apology and a full investigation. Now, these remains are separate from those that were revealed last month to have been kept by the Penn Museum and later misplaced by researchers at Princeton after they were transferred there. I asked during the press briefing if the investigation into those move remains is what prompted Dr. Farley's revelation. The mayor could not answer that for sure, but similarly, these remains have been misplaced as well. The city does have a policy to dispose of unidentified remains, but the mayor expressed interest in changing that policy it's appalling I mean I if I had known three years three years ago uh, I would have been handled differently um, I had no way of knowing until he disclosed it um, and we I think we're doing whatever it is we can to try to address it in an appropriate way now, we do have a statement from Dr. Farley. It reads in part, quote, amid recent reports about local institutions in possession of bones of the move bombing victims, I've reconsidered my actions. I believe my decision was wrong and represented a terrible error in judgment. I've informed the managing director's office of these events and also announced my intention to resign my position as health commissioner of the city of Philadelphia. I profoundly regret making this decision without consulting the family members of the victims, and I extend my deepest apologies for the pain that this will cause them. Now, we do know that an acting health commissioner who was the deputy commissioner will be serving as of right now, but a nationwide search will begin immediately to find a permanent replacement. The city's managing director, or excuse me, the medical examiner has also been placed on administrative leave that is pending a full investigation. Reporting live this evening, Alexandria Hoff, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Alex, thank you.